Rock and roll ain't noise pollution. Neither is the ungodly roar from Ford's raucous, high revving V8, known as Voodoo. It's magical mix of modern ingenuity and natural aspiration. No turbos here! Exclamation mark is only available on the Shelby GT350 and GT350R. The satisfying six-speed manual transmission and lightweight clutch add to the sweet driving experience. What's new for 2018? The Shelby's flat plane crank V8 and 6-speed manual transmission. Carry over unchanged into 2018. That's good news for stick shift. Purists, but those hoping Ford's 10-speed automatic would make it into. The souped-up Stang are out of luck. 2017 Ford Mustang GT350, GT350R. Unlike the high-powered Chevy Camaro ZL1 and Dodge Challenger SRT, Hellcat, the Shelby is down on displacement and sans a supercharger. Instead, its naturally aspirated 5.2-liter V8 is a thoroughly enhanced version of the regular Mustang's 5.0-liter engine. It features a flat-plane crankshaft, direct injection, variable valve, timing, and various other tuning tricks. These help the Voodoo V8 whip up 526 horsepower at a staggering 7,500 revolutions per minute and 429 pounds to foot up. Torque at 4,750. All that commotion blares through a variable exhaust system that has two modes, normal and sport. The engine's frenetic nature and high RPM vibration, flat plane crank V8 has RTAS. Inherently smooth as conventional V8 S, will either intimidate or exhilarate. Punch the bright red start, stop button on the dash, and the Shelby barks to life. Flip the exhaust system toggle switch to sport mode. And the exhaust note drops an octave and the rumbling quickens like the panting of a rabid dog. Both exhaust settings are available in all of the five drive modes, normal, sport, weather, track, and drag strip. This will enable you to avoid waking the neighbors, unless you want to, to keep the engine oil, transmission, and differential from overheating at the racetrack. Ford fits each Shelby GT350 with more coolers than a Baskin Robbins. Buyers interested in blistering acceleration and horsepower bragging rights might be underwhelmed by the Ford's figures. In our testing, the GT350 went from 0 to 60 miles per hour. In 4.2 seconds, the GT350 argued the deed in 3.9, thanks to its slower curb weight, lighter carbon fiber wheels, and wider, stickier tires. The two ran the quarter mile in 12.4 and 12.2 seconds, respectively. Nothing about those numbers seems slow, unless they're compared against the ZL1 or Hellcat.